Hello and welcome to the sixth video in this introduction to neural network series. So this video then we're going to deal with the collisions, so getting the bird to collide with the pipes. To do this uh, we're going to inside the update definition add a reference to the pipes. The check status will be taking this pipes reference to check the collisions. That means here on line 41 I've added it in and I'm also going to add it, add it on um, line 51 here, pass it as a parameter. I'm going to remove this birdie died. And now if we haven't hit the floor then we can say elf, uh, else sorry, and we'll check for hits. So we need to write this uh, check hits function. And what we'll do is loop through each of the pipes and check whether that pipe's rectangle overlaps our rectangle. So here, a good thing about Pygame is it comes with a lot of good built-in functions. One of them is a check whether rectangles collide. It's called collide rect. And if we overlap with the pipe's rectangle, then we can consider ourselves dead. And we can also break out of the loop and the game should uh, restart at that moment. Just to recap, we're taking a reference to the pipes list. Every time we update, we check our status. And then if we haven't hit the bottom, we go for some hits checking. And if we collide with the pipe, then we know this bird is dead and we set it to dead. Now what remains is to update main.py a little bit. The first thing I'd like to do is just below game time here is set a counter for the number of iterations. And the other thing also is inside the update of the bird is sending the reference for the pipes. Remember pipes in main is actually the pipes collection so we need to do pipes.pipes .pipes to get the list of pipes. I'm going to move this update data labels and just put this above Pygame display update and inside here add in num iterations and also go up to the top add in num iterations as a parameter here and add ourselves a new label. And this new label then can keep track or show display our current uh, iteration number. So the last thing to do then is detect whether we need to start a new game and that happens then if the bird has died. And if it has then we'll create some new pipes, reset the game time, create a new bird and increase the number of iterations. And all that should have the effect that each time we die by hitting the floor hitting a pipe will increment the iterations and restart the game. So bar barring typing errors which are always possible let's uh, have a look. Okay so let's check if I collide and we restart iteration 2. And if I hit the floor, we do. If I keep hitting the floor, then you can see the number of iterations is incrementing and going up. And the game time is being recorded and then reset as well. So all looks like it's uh, it's working as expected. Good. OK, then. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will upgrade what we've done here and actually start generating lots of birds at the same time. Have a bird collection, which will then allow us finally to move on to using a neural net to decide what the bird is going to do. So thanks so much for watching. Questions, comments, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.